Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is an English translation of the Majlis of Hazrat Mawlana Qamaru Zaman Sahib Damud Barakatuhum, which took place on Tuesday before the Dhuhr Salat at Darul Maarif Al Islamiya in Kareli, Wasiyabad, in Kareli, Ilahabad, UP, India. Now Tuesday, the fifth of Ramadan, 1444, corresponding with the English date. 28th of March 2023 Hazrat Wala starts off this majlis by quoting the ayat of the Quran in Majid fa ayna tadhhabun and then he goes on to say that Hazrat Shah Sahab translates it this way that ghar chor kar ke kuwa mein kyu gire ja rahe you have left your home and why are you going and throwing yourself uh, into a well going and falling into a well Where are you going? Kaha ja rahe ho? Where are you going? Fa ayna tadhhabun? Where are you going? In huwa illa dhikrul lil alamin. Now the Quran all and all of it is nasihat, admonition and advice. Is a barkar koi wise nahi. Greater than this you will find uh, no admonition. Allah Ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the hidayat of making the Quran our Imam and our leader. There was a philosopher that came from Aligarh and then he spoke and started speaking about ideologies. He said that ideologies in the past would change every hundred years but now I'm seeing that it changes every ten years and then Hazrat Wala adds on to that and says that I think it changes every year. Thereafter Hazrat Wala instantaneously says but Quran dhalikal kitabu la raiba fi it is that is the kitab that has no doubt it won't change in every hundred years neither every ten years it will never ever change Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself said that I'm leaving you with two things and going it is kitabullah wa sunnati the Quran and my sunnat Hazrat Mawlana Abrar al-Haq used to say I mean in tamassak tum bihima lan tadillu that if you hold on to it uh, you will not go astray Hazrat Mawlana Abrar al-Haq used to say I remember also that you would not become confused hairan nahi honge now in nafhatul uns uh, alama jami has even written about awliya wallahu nisa and nisaul awliyat which uh, i have mentioned uh, tremendously throughout my 11 volumes of the aqwal salaf people don't even know that you know there was a lady who was absolutely you know a free thinking kind of person azad she then started coming to my majlis and then she reached such a type of a stage that she would then say that after the half of the night would pass i could then just not sleep after that point thinking that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is announcing uh, who wants this and do who wants that what type of uh, hal and great spiritual state she reached there's an incident of a lady who after the isha salat performing her isha salat she would wear a beautiful outfit and garments and dress herself up for her husband and then she would come to him saying do you have any need with me if you would answer no then she would go and take those garments off and put on her simple clothes and then engage herself in the ibadat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the entire night until more or less the time of the hajjud would almost be coming to an end when she would then say and address her husband who was sleeping saying that the caravan has surpassed and succeeded so much bahut aage bar chuke wake up now at least wake up now at least so in azadi azadi mein maza nahi pabandi mein maza in uh, this type so called type of freedom there is Uh, no bliss and there is no enjoyment rather in being paband in being uh, firm on on the deen and restricted to the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, there is great uh, beauty aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha was paband 
Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha was pardoned. They are Uh, there, there were many ladies, women folk, that had achieved and acquired the grand connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nisbat ma'allah. Now, uh, Mu'arrikh Islam, the great historian, uh, Hazrat Qazi Athar Mubarak Puri, uh, had even written and acknowledged and said this year that apni kitab, jis apni kitab, Referring to the Aqwal Salaf, he made the statement, Tumhari marne ke baad hogi, iske qadar, Tumhari marne ke baad hogi, will truly be appreciated actually after you pass away. Hazrat Marana Taqiyuddin Saab used to say, and normally a Nadwi person where the Urdu is of a very good and high standard would not very quickly or simply praise a non a nadwi, but he, he would then say to me, Aapke Urdu ki tarif karta ho, that I uh, acknowledge and praise your Urdu. Hazrat Maulana Ali Miyah's mother taught him Yasin Sharif in Surah Kaf. Now just understand this part of it, that his last breath that he took on this earthly abode while he was reading that very same Surah Kaf and Surah Yasin on a Friday when uh, uh, that, that his mother actually taught him. That's how his ruh left his body. Someone said to her on one occasion, you only had one son. Why don't you te teach him the circular? Why don't you teach him uh, English, etc.? And she went on to say that if I had a hundred children like Ali, I would have taught each and every one of them Arabi, meaning the knowledge and the wealth of Quran and Hadith. When I went to South Africa, then Mohan Abdul Haq Umarji uh, was saying there that Haz Hazrat tell our people here that they must teach their progeny and their awlad the Urdu. Otherwise, how will they then take benefit from the ulama of India and Pakistan? So, appreciate your deen. It is it didn't just come like that free of charge or just so simple or uh, like that. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went, went under, under tremendous efforts. Rather, he would go to the cave of Hira and he would stay there for days on end, making mujahada in the dhikr and in remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hubbiba ilayya al-khala. That solitude was made beloved to me. You know, I, I told Abdullah and Ubaidullah to go. It is such a peaceful place. And from there you can see Khana e Kaaba, the holy uh, Kaaba. Asa ke ghair, mere khana e dil mein kaise, ke khiyale ruh e dildar darba apna. How can anyone other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enter my heart when the thought of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in itself is the God that is holding, uh, is standing God at the haram at the doorway of my heart. He did not sit uh, on his bed at home, but rather he left. He went out into the mountains and Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha used to prepare for him a tiffin as well with some type of food. But atharuna tadullu alayna. These are all uh, the great athar and places of historic importance in the history of Islam which have sentimental value to us and today it's being destroyed. Allah Ta'ala out of His grace and His mercy has given us the month of Ramadan. Allah Ta'ala says, كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ السِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ That, you know, any Malvi, rather we used to say this ourselves, that fasting has been made compulsory upon you like how it had been made compulsory on the people before you. So we would say that this taklif uh, or this type of difficulty uh, has uh, been prescribed upon you. 
more uh, more or less this way that way people used to present it in this type or in this way or in this manner but Hazrat Tanvi presents it in this manner or in this way he says that this ni'mat this bounty this boon has been prescribed upon you like how it has been prescribed upon the people before you now this is ulum allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm and nafi and amal salih and allah ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the hidayat of pre appreciating such type of ulum and knowledge la raiba fi this knowledge is such that there is no doubt in it whatsoever and whoever tried to change the teachings of Quran and Hadith, Allah Ta'ala destroyed their hands. Sahib Kashaf says that the Yahud and the Nasara went to the extent of the Habuha, writing the entire Torah and Injil in gold. However, they did not practice on the Awamir and the Nawahi, due to which Allah Ta'ala then abrogated the Torah and the Injil. We should make Qadr of the Quran, otherwise we would then unfortunately become a mahroom and deprived of the ruhaniyat and the barakat the blessings of al-quran so rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying that i left two things with you if you hold on to it firmly you will not go astray Manan abrarul haq would say you would not then become confused and restless allah ta'ala has gathered us on this particular occasion خاب خاک سمجھیں گے یہ ظاہر بھی رموز معرفت جو ہمیشہ شاہد بازار کی باتیں کرتے ہیں what what will he understand these people who just understand the external how would they ever be able to truly appreciate and understand the secrets of the recognition of Allah when by and large they are always speaking about the talks of the marketplace Allah Ta'ala give us affinity with this type of knowledge. What to do, what to say. Today people don't even know the Urdu. Create a capacity and capability within yourself so that you can understand. Where are you going to? You have ghar chor karke, kuwa mein gire ja rahe ho. You left home and you are taking yourself and throwing yourself into a well. Allah Ta'ala has blessed us with the Siyam and the Qiyam, the fasting and the standing up in prayer at night. Allah Ta'ala give us a, a progress to a greater extent. So it is written, we learn from the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, for every one, one a letter of the Quran, we would be rewarded. Alif, Lam, Mim, three letters, we will get 30 Hasana. Some have even went to the extent of mentioning that Alif is three letters. Alif, Lam and Fa. Lam is three letters. Lam, Alif and Mim. And Mim is three letters. Mim, Ya and Mim, which equals to nine letters. So by merely reciting Alif, Lam, Mim, the individual will accrue 90 Hasana and Nekis for himself just by that. Allah Ta'ala does not want to throw you into Taklif or unnecessary uh, difficulty uh, and we should try and stay away from sin so وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا those who strive in our way then we would guide them to our path Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala used to say that those who want to achieve Salah will have to adopt that which the first generation and the first people of this Ummah had adopted. You know, people say that every night is Shabai Qadr. The Grand Ustad, meaning the Ustad, Ust, Ustad's Ustad of Hazrat Maulana Habibur Rahman Azmi, Maulana uh, Amiruddin, uh, he would say that uh, who is saying that every night is Shabai Qadr? I feel like giving him one shot and one slap. Why are they saying this here? This is a Atikadi thing, a point of a true belief that Laylatul Qadr and Shabai Qadr is one night. 
it has to be searched in the last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan you are making Tawheen and uh, uh, insulting the great nature uh, and, and honor and superiority of Laylatul Qadr so in Gujarat you would see there is great value for even the six fast after the month of Ramadan there is great value for Shab Qadr whereas here you don't find that to that extent so much so that even when the Adhan goes or when Dua is being made children even leave their play and then come and sit in the Dua and I mean we couldn't do this for you people but Abdullah and Ubaidullah have made some type of arrangements for the iftari but listen if there's any deficiency come and tell me please so that we can improve Molana Ismail Manubari would go is to make gushed to see at the time of iftari is everybody okay you know he was one very admi mohid he was one uh, who had a, a, a great personality uh, who had the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with him all the time Allah ta'ala uh, rectify our aqaid and our uh, jazbat this is a great uh, silsila Hazrat Maulana uh, Shah Wasiullah sahab used to say that the month has dawned upon us did you even read the dua for the moon and then he would come to know that even the khawas, the religious, rather ulama also don't know the dua of the moon. And then he would go on to remark, then how would you even achieve anything when you don't even know the dua, when the new month dawns upon you, where you ask for every type of good from Allah? Allahu Akbar. Mawlana Ishaad Saab used to say that Hazrat Mawlana Shah Wasiullah Saab used to make many khatams of the Quran every single day or in the month of Ramadan. I can't say that day, but most definitely I can confirm this that every single day he would make a khatam of the Quran. You know, somebody said that I never seen a buzruk like this year. And then the person there, I'm forgetting the name, he went on to say uh, that Aise bi buzruk ko deklo. Then, then if that's the case, then have a look at this buzruk also. Khune dil pine ko, lakhte jigar kaane ko, yehi riza milti hai jana teri diwane ko. You would have to undergo difficulty. You would have to undergo some type of an effort in this path so that you can achieve something. What's at the dil ke kiya karte hai e imdad? Yehi ba baagant na, yehi meda. Oh imdad, what's at the dil, what's at the dil, Kisair kya karte hai e imdad? O imdad, in the vastness of this heart, uh, we walk around and stroll around and take a walk. Yehi uh, bhagavna, this is my garden. This is my field. I don't need to go here and go there and see this and that. In the vastness of my heart, I walk from here. To hear and enjoy the beauty of this garden Allahu Akbar the Sahaba when they did not have they made sabr and when it came then they made shukar you know a very amazing kitab beautiful kitab Hazatan we had made the tarjuma of and then he goes on to also say that that wealth that Allah Ta'ala then eventually gave them they spent in it chakirana not malikana they did not spend in it like the original owners rather like it was somebody else's and they had just been uh, uh, given it to look after it for a while that it wasn't theirs in reality so Allah Ta'ala bless us with afiyat and maghfirat we are greatly in need uh, of this we are really in need if it is not for Allah, we can't even take one luqma. Hazrat Haji Imdadullah used to spend uh, spent his days in quite a bit of uh, poverty when his uh, colleague, Mawli Rahmatullah, came and he said, Haji, let me speak about you in front of uh, the king. And he said immediately, no, please don't do that. Because if he becomes happy, then he will call me home to the palace. And I don't want to abandon Baytullah in exchange of Baytul Sultan. Allahu Akbar. I don't want to leave the haram and go and sit there in the palace. Now, despite all type and such a destitution and poverty, 
then to look at his istighna in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what type of independence Allah ta'ala blessed these great personalities somebody uh, Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala an, when he entered the Jame Masjid in Damishk he found many people in the different corners then uh, giving waz and then he went around and he came to Hassan al-Basri and he said to these people that who gave you permission to give waz not just anyone gives waz but listen I'm going to take your interview I'm going to test you if you pass well and good I'll, I'll allow you to sit here but if not I will then ask you to leave you can't give dars here and then he said ma milakud deen that what is the foundation of this matter and our deen Hassan al-Basri then answered al wara it is that of parsai piety and then he said what is the destruction of this matter and the deen he said uh, Thoma, it is nothing other than greed and keeping your gaze on the wealth of people. Hazrat Shah Waliullah used to say, was nas ala sharitatain, that accompany people with two prerequisites and conditions. Pat uttama anin nas wa amma fi aidin nas, that abandoning a greed uh, and having abandoning this hopes and uh, the, the, that you may have. Uh, with the wealth of people and what they possess and having good character with every person Allah Ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the hidayat of making amal on the talimat and the ma'amulat of our mashayikh and then after that what futu heart and what Allah Ta'ala then bless them with Allah bless us with that also it is not only mujahada here yeah? however there is mushahada as well after you make some type of effort you will definitely witness some great things as well Allah Ta'ala bless us all with his grand connection and the star look and nisbat with him Hazrat Khaja Muhammad Masoom says I cannot un even understand that the person who doesn't have the love of Allah in his heart how is he even alive Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told Hazrat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha Aisha, this few dry pieces of bread that are lying here, pick it up appreciate it because if this ni'mat is uprooted and taken away, it doesn't come back again he would tell Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha oh Aisha, that do not change your clothes meaning, do not take it out and give it away in charity until or unless it is not patched and become completely torn, Allahu Akbar ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم بحرمة سيد النبي الكريم صلى الله عليه وسلم